So you all know the problem. You sat on the toilet, use up all the paper, you have a little look around, there's nothing to be found. So what I need is some shelves for in here. And what I have is some 18mm ply to use. I'm going to make some hexagonal shelves so I work out how wide I want them to be and then I can rip some strips down using the table saw. This is not the best quality ply to start with and it's been sat around the workshop for a while and it's got some marks on it. So before I go any further, I'm just gonna give it all a sand down to 120 grit. To make hexagons, I need six pieces, obviously, and they need to be cut at 30 degree angles. So I get the mitre saw tilted over and then I cut off the end of all the strips I ripped. I work out how long I want the sides to be and then I can get a block of wood clamped on as a stop. Then I can push the cut edge against that and make another cut. With that cut made, I can flip the board over, push that cut edge up against my stop and make another cut. And then I just keep doing this until I've used up all my bits of wood. Time to get these put together. So I get some PVA wood glue put onto the edges and spread out. And then I can just get six of them aligned into a hexagon. Now I've got some of these nice Collins clamps. I think these are fantastic, so I'll put a link down to these below on the Tools I Use page. If you don't have these though, I think some just normal masking tape would do a good job of clamping up these joints. To strengthen the joint a little, I'm gonna fire a couple of rads into each one. So there's a link down on the Tools I Use page to this rad nail as well if you wanna check it out. Doing this also means I can then get these clamps off and move on to the next one. In a couple of these, I think I'd like an internal divider. I get it marked out and it uses exactly the same 30 degree angle so I can make a cut and then I just keep cutting away, sneaking up on it until I get the perfect fit. The shelves fit in nice and snugly and then to lock them in place, I can fire a couple of brad nails from each side. Out of that scrap of ply, I managed to get six hexagonals, two with an internal divider. Now, this wasn't the best quality plywood, I might have mentioned that, so there's a few voids, so I'm just gonna fill them with some of this filler. I'll put a link to this below as well. This is ready to use stuff, no mixing required, and I just like to rub it in with my finger, and then it dries pretty quickly and I can give it all a sand down. Now, I didn't really start this project with a plan in mind. I didn't know how many hexagons I could actually make. So now I'm just having a little experiment and seeing what kind of pattern I can come up with. I'm gonna attach these to the wall, but you could stack them up on a sideboard or on a bookcase and make them any size you want. There's really quite a lot of creativity. Now, this is what I've decided to go with. So I'm gonna to need to get this all glued together. So there's quite a lot of surface glue area. I get some PVA on and then just a clamp to hold it in place. And then I can leave the whole thing to dry. I 
After a few hours, I can get the clamps off and see if I like the pattern. I think it's gonna look good. Now, as I've mentioned a few times now, this is not the best quality ply, so I'm gonna get some paint on, but I'm gonna only gonna paint the outside. I'm gonna keep the inside and the ply edges raw. I do wanna protect the other surfaces, especially as it's going in a bathroom. So after a few hours, I've got this varnish that I'm gonna apply. Instead of just going over the exposed wood, I went over the whole thing, paint and all. And this stuff dries pretty quickly. To attach this to the wall, I'm just gonna use a couple of these brass keyhole plates and I get them screwed into the back of the unit. Then it's into the bathroom, a couple of holes and plugs into the wall and I can get it screwed into place. This whole thing turned out a bit bigger than I intended, but now I've got loads of room for toilet paper and my vast array of beauty products. It's not easy looking this good. So that's it all done easily grab some toilet paper now. So I could have put a shelf up, that'd be a simple option, but I think the hexagons look cool. It's more of an interesting thing, more of an art piece, but practical as well. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.